Hey everybody, how are you today? So today for my video, I decided that because we are nearing fall, well, not nearing, we're actually in fall, um, that I would do the sweater weather tag because, you know, it's sweater weather and why not? So, yeah, so, um, have all questions over there. So that would be why I'm looking over there. So, number one, favorite candle scent. Now, for the fall, I normally like just regular candle scents, but for a like a long time, I think, I don't even know if I even included these in a video, but I got these two candles for Christmas last year or this year, um, and they're these two candles from Lifetime Essentials, and one of them is called Restore. And it smells like lemon, so it's like a lemony one. And the other one is called Sweet Dreams, and it's um, lavender, patchouli, and geranium. I don't know how to pronounce the second one. But it smells like fresh linen, kind of. And it just really, like, makes the room smell really good, and yeah. Coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? Um... I'm a little bit of both. I mean, coffee, like, tends to give me a stomach ache sometimes, so I don't always drink coffee. So I try and drink tea or hot chocolate. By the way, if you ever go to Dunkin' Donuts, try getting hot chocolate with whole milk. Whole milk. It tastes so freaking good. Number three, what's the best fall memory you have? Um, I don't know. I have a lot of good fall memories. I think one of them would be... Um, we used to, when we were younger, we used to go to, um, my grandma's house and my aunt would be there and we would go and we would pick out our pumpkins at the patch and we'd go to my grandma's house and we would carve our pumpkins there and, um, then we would take all the seeds out, put them on the tray and cook them and make, like, pumpkin seeds and then my grandma would always make, like, um, pumpkin spice hot chocolate because she always had the Libby's pie filling because she stocks up on it like crazy because she makes pumpkin pie all the time for Thanksgiving. So she would always make us pumpkin spice hot chocolate. It was so freaking good. Number four, what makeup trend do you prefer? Dark lips or winged liner? Um, I prefer dark lips. Honestly, um, I don't always go for dark lips because I don't feel they look great on me. But, um, I really have been, like, this past couple of, like, weeks or days since I've been off of Project Pan, um, I've really been liking my Raspberry Blush, um, HD Lip Advanced Color from Milani, which is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Um, and it's a really pretty, nice color. Uh, and it's nice and dark, and it's just a nice, bright color. You know, it's not, not too dark, you know. Number five, best fragrance for the fall. Um, well, going for lotion, I really like the Orange Sapphire Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. I like this scent actually really kind of like all year round, but I like it more in the fall only because it's, you know, it's a nice orangey scent and it smells really freaking good. I don't think it says anything else on it. Hydrating rice bran oil and protective acai. I never know how to pronounce that. Yeah. And then for perfume for fragrance, I have like literally had this bottle of perfume forever. This is Victoria's Secret Vixen. And this was smells so good. This was a travel size bottle that I bought to go on vacation and it literally like I use it all the time and it's like I, I, this is still the bottle I bought. It's not even like it's not even gone. It's pretty crazy. Number six, favorite Thanksgiving food. Um, well my grandma my grandma makes all the food. Um, she doesn't technically believe in buying things. The only thing she buys is the ingredients to make it. And the turkey. She 
stuffs, she makes her own stuffing, stuffs the own turkey, her own turkey, well not her own turkey, but she stuffs the turkey herself, she um, makes all the pies, like she makes literally everything, she makes her own cranberry sauce, her own applesauce, she's freaking crazy, but her food is so good. I love gravy and like green beans and mashed potatoes, like it's just my favorite, like together, and it's really good. Number seven, what is autumn weather like where you live? Um, I will put in a picture right now of what autumn kind of looks like in my backyard. Um, but basically, autumn in Connecticut, where I live, um, is basically your typical what your typical fall. If it wasn't so dark, almost outside right now, I'd show you what it looks like outside. But basically, it's all the trees changing different colors. You have that um, that weather that's kind of nippy, so you really wear like you start wearing sweaters, um, not sweaters. You start wearing um, scarves and jackets and stuff outside, and um, you know it's got that nice bite to it when you walk outside. So it's really nice out. And you have all the leaves on the lawn and everything. It's really, really nice. Number eight, most worn sweater. My most worn sweater is a little bit dirty right now. Um, but this is my most worn sweater. And it basically says, dream big, do big on it. And the reason that it is my favorite sweater is because it is literally like the most inspirational thing ever. It's like, you know, you you dream your biggest and then you achieve it. So it's really nice. And um, if you want to look at some of the clothes that this person put out, um, I will leave their Instagram below. It's GMI Clothing. They go to different fairs and stuff. You probably have seen them before. Um, they go to different fairs and everything, and they have all their merch out on, like, tables and stuff. And they're pretty inexpensive stuff, too, so it's pretty good prices. Um, let's see, number nine, must-have nail polish this fall. Alright, um, I'm a little bit of a, uh, I'm gonna be a little bit of an Ingrid here, because I couldn't choose one, so I'm gonna show you four. Because that's what she did. Because I can't pick one. So I have these four colors. I have Rimmel London's Lasting Finish Pro in English Rose. Which looks like this. It's just a really nice pink color. And then I have Cherry Pie. Or yeah, Cherry Pie from Milani. Which is this nice dark red color. And then I have Kiss the Bride from OPI, which is like a nice sheer silvery color, metallic-y, like pale. And then I have Volcanic by Sinful Colors, which is this like nice shimmery dark purple color. Number 10, football games or jumping in leaf piles? Um, how about both? I, um, am actually going to the football game this Friday. Um, I love going to football games at my school so much. It's so much fun. You get to go hang out with your friends. Concession stand is open. And, um, you know, one of my friends plays football. So, you know, you go to see him play and everything. So, yeah, it's pretty cool and stuff. But, um, I don't think I've ever actually technically jumped in a big nice pile of leaves. I've jumped in leaves before but not like what everyone else would be thinking. Number 11, skinny jeans or leggings? There is absolutely nothing better in the fall than leggings. Period. Number 12, combat boots or Uggs? Uggs. I don't wear combat boots. They're not that comfortable and I have a very wide foot and combat boots don't really fit me so... Uggs it is. Number 13. Is pumpkin spice worth the hype? Is that even a question? Is that really a question? Um, obviously it is because I literally like, I can't even count the amount of times that I've been to Dunkin Donuts and Starbucks already and gotten the pumpkin spice lattes and the iced coffees and everything. They are so freaking good. 
I love pumpkin spice like anything. Like I love all, that's a, one of the reasons why I love fall like a lot because I love like the pumpkin spice stuff and everything. Number 14, favorite fall TV show. Why has it got to be a fall TV show? There's just, whatever. Okay, um, my favorite fall TV show at the moment is The Carrie Diaries, which just came back like two weeks ago. And I was super freaking excited about it. Um, hashtag Kidshaw. Let's hope they get back together. Number 15, what song really gets you into the fall spirit? Um... Mm. Well, I mean, I like Sweater Weather, the song Sweater Weather, you know, no pun intended. But, um, really though, like a song that, a song that I've really been liking is, um, I've been liking Let Her Go by Passenger. And a, a couple other songs I've been liking, um, are songs by this guy named Joey. Um, and you can look up his songs. There, his YouTube is Tunes by Joey, and I will link him below if you want to go check out his songs. I suggest you check out A Broken Heart because it's so freaking good. Um, yeah, so I'll link him below. Um, I'll also list all the products below too if you want to, like, figure, you know, if you want to get some of them or whatever. But, um, yeah, I'd really, really love to see your answers to these questions. Um, I will also have the questions in the description bar, too. So feel free to leave me some video responses or something like that, because i really freaking love to see it. Um, and on other good news, we, we are 15 subscribers away from the Tin Can Challenge. And that's pretty... It's pretty exciting. So yeah, if you didn't know, I'm planning the Tin Can Challenge at 50 subscribers. And when and when I get to 100, I'm also planning a giveaway. So in case you didn't know, that's basically the future of this channel. Um, but yeah, um, and as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, video requests, stuff like that, dares, because I said I was going to do dares, Stuff like that. Inbox me. My email is also on my channel. Feel free to email me at that email. I will gladly answer your email. I will also respond back to you in my inbox. Okay, enough rambling because I need to shut up. So I will see you all on Friday with a special guest. And, um, yeah. So don't forget creativity takes courage. And I'll see you all on Friday. Adios, amigos.